again, talking about orange oil. I can't leave the stuff alone. I love it. Uh, I've been bringing it into the country now for 15 years and uh, I can't get enough of it. I really believe in it. This is a piece of timber, a piece of timber from the forest, a piece of gum. Now I'm going to make it look so much better by using orange oil and this time I'm going to be using citrus shield as well. This is the citrus shield. This is our range of coloured waxes and they're fabulous. Now, how, how do I treat this gum? Well, first of all, I give it a drink with orange oil. A drink and a clean. I put as much oil, orange oil as I can into it and I allow it to penetrate into all those little bits and pieces down into those little cavities. I give it a good go of orange oil and I let it sink in there, maybe even for an hour or so, just let it sink into the wood. Then I come back when I'm ready and I just take the excess off. And there it is, my piece of forest furniture has already gone from that to that. And it's going to stay like that. I'm going to go a step further. In this instance, I've chosen not to use my, uh, my feed and wax. I could, in fact, use feed and wax. Where is it? I put it down somewhere. It doesn't matter because I'm... Oh, there it is. I could use that. That's the liquid feed and wax. In fact, I'll just look, I'll put a little bit on and show you. I mean, that's really nice on there. You just rub it in, let it take into the wood. You can see that the grain in that little section really comes up and it doesn't cake at all. But in this instance, I want to get this more dramatic. And more importantly, I want to fill some of these cracks. Now, how do I do it? Some people would say, oh, well, you need a wax stick or uh, put some of that plastic wood in. Well, no, we don't need to do that. Whenever you buy a tin of this product, you always take a little bit of it out. Roll it into a ball and leave it somewhere, just like that. And if you let that dry for a while, it will come out looking a little bit like a lump. A little bit of a lump. What I have down here are bits and pieces that I've actually hung on to over time. And this is what it's going to be like. That's a bit of the, of the, the not-so-coloured wax, but that is rock hard. That's probably not more than about a month old, but it's as hard as a rock. So you go from here to that soft piece, you let it harden over a few weeks, just in the air, it becomes like a rock. And with that, you can fill anything. I just jam it into the hole, just like so. And look at that. And because it's carnauba wax, it dries even harder than the wood. So I just jam that in there, like so. Push it in there, and it, it even looks just like the wood. It has that natural look about it. Rub it over with my fingers. Where's the hole? It's gone. <laughs> It's just a brilliant way to do it. And if I want to add the colour, well, I've got here a mahogany. I use my fine steel wool again. I'll just tear a little bit off. Take the, the mahogany citrus shield and rub it in. And you find that lovely reddish tint coming through. Just gone over that hole there. And look at that. That lovely reddish tint starts to come through. And you can use any one of a number of eight different colours to get the various tints that you want. I let this one dry about 10 to 15 minutes, a bit longer than the 20 minutes. Let it dry, and then I buff it off. And with Citrus Shield, I always get a lovely shine. It shines more brightly. It's got a higher shine than feeding wax. It's designed to have that. So there you have it. Just if the camera could just go in there, that's where I filled the hole using that piece of Citrus Shield that I had dry for about a month.